Hi, this is John Campus, founder and CEO of Empus. On today's Coffee with Campus, I want to talk to you about a security breach that recently occurred in Colorado. If you're not familiar, more than 100 dental practices were shut down in November due to a major security breach. Hackers gained unauthorized access to the administrative tools used by the IT provider for the practices. The hackers used this access to impersonate the IT provider and launch a ransomware attack against the supported systems. The attack encrypted all the files, including patient records. Once they were encrypted, the hackers demanded $700,000 in ransom to decrypt the files. This forced most of the dental practices to turn away patients and some to even shut down. As you can imagine, this is a nightmare scenario for any business owner. As of today, December 11th, it is reported that many of the practices are still closed and negotiating with the hackers. This happens more often than you might think. Hackers attack administrative applications and systems all the time. Unauthorized access potentially gives them the keys to the kingdom for all the supported systems. Hackers don't discriminate against small or large companies either. They have a quota to fill just like a sales team. You are not safe just because you're a small business. Something to consider is that your IT, whether it's internal or external, poses a high level of risk to your company because of their elevated permissions. This is known as privileged access, or someone with administrative access to your systems. If an account with privileged access is compromised, the impact will be much greater than if it happened to someone in marketing or sales, for example. So what can be done to address this? The best recommendation I can make is to separate your privileged and standard user accounts. Separating the accounts based on role or function mitigates the impact should one account be compromised. Standard accounts should be used for day-to-day -day work, such as logging into devices and accessing email. A privileged account should only be used when performing administrative functions. Privileged accounts also should not be shared amongst the IT team. Having separate accounts also allows you to configure other types of access controls, such as permitted login hours, IP address restrictions, and detailed auditing. In addition to separating privileged and standard accounts, you need to keep your systems patched and enable MFA on all privileged systems. This adds an extra layer of security against hackers. Also, make sure you have good backups. This will be your last line of defense against this type of attack. If the dental practices I mentioned earlier had good backups, this breach would have likely been a minor inconvenience. So ask your IT team what they are doing to protect the systems they use against the attacks from both inside and outside threats. There are many best practices they should follow to avoid an attack like this. To quote Benjamin Franklin, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Lastly, if you have any additional questions about ransomware and how to protect yourself, please don't hesitate to contact me directly. Thank you.